The title of invention is Agriculture Spring Robot. This project was developed by Institute of Sustainable Agrotechnology, University of Malaysia, Police, Malaysia. The purpose of this robot is to help farmers spray pesticide, fungicide, and also herbicide to their farm. As we know, the use of pesticide, fungicide, and also herbicide is very important to control plant disease. High value crops such as harumanes, durian needs to regularly uh, use pesticide and also fungicide in order to maintain quality of fruit and also to avoid any disease that affected the, the crop. And folia is a new method to give nutrient to the tree by using uh, spraying tools. So this project also suitable uh, to use uh, to spray folia. And uh, high quality fruit uh, can be produced by uh, applying good agriculture practice. For example, we need to maintain our crop or our farm from any disease. So one of the solution is to regularly use a uh, pesticide or so fungicide. Uh. Uh, manual spring machine, uh, as we know, is not safe and not practical for large area of farm. So this is the example of leaf and also tree that affected by um, uh, fungus and also uh, disease. So as you can see from the leaf and also from the tree here, uh, we need to have the regular maintenance. Huh? One of the solution is by applying uh, pesticide, also fungicide, by using manual uh, spraying tool, as shown in this figure. So for the large area of farm, uh, the manual spraying uh, technique is not effective, and also consume a lot of um, you know energy, a lot of uh, require a lot of workers, and also maybe the spray area is not effective. So this project uh, we develop uh, to uh, to help farmers uh, spray pesticide by using a robot, mobile robot, and this robot uh, we can control remotely, and the maximum distance is five hundred meter. So as you can see from uh, this picture, so we have a two high top moto left and right. So these two high top moto will drive all four tires or four wheel and this wheel this motor is powered by 12 volt car battery so we have uh, we have the charging unit here so the charging unit is drive by using a petrol engine so the petrol engine will 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 run the alternator and the alternator will charge the battery that means this robot will run for for the long period of time so this project is heavy duty and can spray in any conditions of land. So the size is small, lightweight and also portable, easy to transport. So we can put this robot in the SUV if we want to transport it to our farm. For the market potential, we have an industry partner. We work with industry partner Sulaiman Plantation, Seren Bahad in Kedah. So this company give a fund RM20,000 to develop the project and, and the duration of uh, this project or duration of funding is two years. For this project, we already get the MIPO pattern. The selling price for one unit is uh, 3500 Okay, from our market survey um, that conducted by our industry partner, it shows that uh, this project gives a benefit to the farmers uh, because of uh, several reasons. So reason number one is um, when the farmer use this project, uh, they can reduce number of workers because all the uh, spraying techniques uh, can be done by using this robot. And also um, uh, we, they can reduce um, uh, number, uh, they can reduce their, their, their operational cost because this robot can work for the whole day. That means within a short period of time, of time they can uh, manage to spray uh, pesticide or herbicide in the large area of farm. 
Uh, in terms of uh, commercialization, uh, this product is low maintenance cost. That means all the component that we use here is, is available in the local market. Easy to use and operate by farmers. So the, the remote control that we use here is, is user friendly. That means all level of uh, people uh, can use this project easily and lightweight and easy to transport. And also the, the most important thing is um, all the component or the spare part that we use here is available in local market. Uh, if in case uh, there is a malfunctions of certain part, so it is easy to replace. So here I will show you a demo and also a field work of the project. Now you see how we can control the robot and at the same time we can plot the path or the lane that uh, uh, that path that the uh, robot uh, move we can plot on our laptop or on our screen uh, so this of this uh, this process involve a data transmission so the the robot will transmit the current location to the to the control unit so this data is uh, is loaded to to the controller uh, that are connected to the laptop. So based on the GPS signal that uh, the controller received, the system will plot the movement of the robot. So basically, this uh, this uh, analysis is very important uh, for the farmers in order to know uh, which area that uh, has been covered by the robot. Okay, let's say the, the farmers uh, want to see which area that are already spray with pesticide or herbicide. So he just need to uh, see this, uh, this uh, plotting. Okay, I think uh, this is basically the, the function of the, the, this robot. Okay, in terms of publication, we have two publications that are related to, the, uh, to this uh, project. Uh, one is uh, related to the computer visions and also another publications related to the uh, soil uh, analysis uh, when we use this robot. I think that's all for my presenta presentation. Thank you very much.